What's good YouTube? Hope everyone is doing well. So if you've seen my socks video, then you'll know that one of the things that I've been wanting to do on this channel is to show you guys some of my other hobbies other than cars, other than fashion or clothes or whatever. I want to show you guys more about just the other things, the other things that intrigue me in life. And I thought this would be a great start to that. Um, but the other big reasons for this is one is for documentation. I want to document just my different cameras because I'm letting a few of them go. Um, this one being is the first one I'm letting go. And two is I have taken a lot of film, like film shots. However, being that I am the absolute worst at uploading videos and even on Instagram, I'm the worst at having like consistent posts or whatever. I don't know, I just have this whole like, I guess, perfectionist mindset when it comes to uploading or having a good feed or whatever that I just end up not posting. And so that's a big reason of like why I don't have a lot of pictures on my Instagram feed, even though I have so many pictures that I've taken, even with my DSLR, but a lot of them lately I've taken through film. I get them developed, I get them scanned, and they're just sitting in a file on my computer. So I thought this would be a great outlet for me to show you guys some of those pictures and also talk about the camera that I took those pictures with. So in, this, in these videos, I'm gonna conclude the video with just my favorite shots with the camera that I used to take. I'll even talk about um, the film that I used um, and yeah, I'll have some lo-fi or some cool music in the background and have the whole like white border thing going on. So yeah, you'll see that. You'll see those pictures at the end of this video. So let's get right into this camera. So I acquired this camera at my local Goodwill. At that time, um, I had no idea. I Again, this was my first film camera. So I had, I didn't know anything, no knowledge whatsoever about film photography, how to operate these things, how to load film, the different kinds of film. I didn't even know that like specific film have like different ISOs that you have to choose from. Um, I didn't even know how to open this door right here. I thought there was some like, some switch or whatever on the side. I didn't know that you had to pull this thing and it pops open. I was just a complete noob. However, I got the opportunity to buy this guy right here and a, a Pentax camera as well. I forgot the name of it. It's with my buddy Aaron. Um, but yeah, at my local Goodwill were these two mint, absolute mint condition cameras, this Olympus OMG and the Pentax camera. And I thought, yo, this is a great opportunity for me to dive into this hobby or this cool thing. Around that time, definitely film was like getting like popular again. I know it's really popular now with disposables, but at that time, I think a lot of YouTubers and a handful of like fashion inst Instagrammers were standing out because of their use of film photography and posting just pictures, you know, with film. And I thought, you know, this was cool and I really wanted to get into it. So yeah, that's how I acquired this guy. Um, and so definitely there was a lot of learning and a lot of like risky things that to go through when I was, you know, using this thing. Um, I didn't know if there were any light leaks or I didn't know if I had the whole aperture go thing going on. I had to learn like what these numbers mean, the aperture, the shutter speed. Um, I didn't like DSLRs nowadays don't even have like exposure dials. And I was like, what the heck is this? This is this right here is an exposure dial. And like loading film, I was like really just so like anxious to, not anxious, but I had like anxiety, like did it roll? Like did the film advance or whatever, or did it just stay there? Yeah, a whole lot of things that I know, I'm sure I'll get into detail in another video, but definitely this camera right here, I learned a lot about film photography with this Olympus OMG. So. Let's dive into the details of this camera. So this is like my first time doing a video like this. So let me know if it looks weird or if the lighting is off, but I'm doing my best out here. But here it is at a close up. Olympus OMG with the 50 millimeter lens at a close up. Just a really, really gorgeous camera. That's not too heavy and yeah, I just I think it's it just looks amazing. 
Um, it's got a really nice like grip right here that you can take off using a coin. You can screw it out. Um, again, this is a 50 millimeter. 50 millimeter. However, I do have a 35 millimeter um, right here on my Olympus OM-2N. Um, this is another camera for another video, but the shots that you'll see later are taken with this lens, the 35 millimeter, 35 millimeter um, compared to this 50 millimeter. Uh, but how to open this guy is you pull this thing right here, this the film lever, and it accesses this thing. And this thing, this is how you tell if a camera is like in good condition is if there's no um, flaking going on. Like usually you can rub your hand here. As you can see, there's like no black dust. So meaning that the, the light seals on this thing is still in really good condition, being that it's like a really old camera. Um, yeah, you got an exposure dial right here. And then the th cool thing about this camera, even though it is uh, Olympus's entry level camera, is that it has a manual mode. As you can see, there's a manual mode and an auto mode. The OM-10, uh, so I believe in other, in other uh, countries, this camera came out as the OM-20, and there's also the Olympus OM-10. The OM-10 doesn't have a manual mode. It just has an auto mode, meaning auto in in like film camera language language means aperture priority, meaning that you can't control the shutter speed. It'll do it on its own. However, you can control the aperture um, and the depth of field. So yeah, you can go without auto mode and just control the aperture on your own, but you can also go with manual mode and control the uh, shutter speed as well. So that's a really nice thing about this camera, even though it is an entry level camera. Compared to the OM-2N, again, you'll see this in a, another video. This is Olympus's flagship camera at that time with um, a lot more functions and a more advanced light meter. But again, you'll see this at another video. But yeah, this is the OM OMG, or I believe it is also called the OM-20, like I mentioned in other places. And this is going, again, to a friend of mine. Daryl, if you're watching this, hope you enjoy this camera. So yeah, that is the camera, again, the Olympus OMG. Let me know, let me know if you guys like this type of video. Um, definitely a bit different, felt more of like a review, like a product review, on, in honesty. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be just a great way for me to start just showing you guys the different hobbies that I have um, and started off with my love for film cameras. But yeah, again, this is the Olympus OMG going to my friend Daryl. Um, but before I conclude and show you guys the photos and what whatnot, I just want to talk about my subscribers. Yo, I am almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think right now, let me pull up my phone. 976 subscribers. I'm nearly at 1,000 and like honestly, I just want to say thank you. Like thank you for those of you who support me that still look forward to an upload that have subscribed to me as of recently. I know I have a lot of like a whole mix of like like people that are subscribed for my channel for like for my car or for fashion or for mukbangs or whatever um, but I just want to say thank you for those of you that are yeah still supporting me until this day that I've even reached this amount of subscribers even though I only have like what like 10 videos uploaded I, I am the worst at uploading videos at a consistent um, basis but here I am with, with still you know, getting subscribers till this day. So I just want to say thank you for you guys. Um, however, I'm talking about this is because at 1000, when I reach there, I want to do a Q and A video. I still don't know or still haven't made up my mind how I want to do that. Probably though, it's going to be posting something on my story and having you guys uh, DM me like questions or whatever, but it'll probably be like a Q and A with a buddy if they're down during this whole quarantine thing. 
um, where we'll probably just eat and I'll answer a few questions. Um, but yeah, 1,000 1, subscribers, you got yourselves a Q&A. And yeah, thank you so much. Just want to appreciate you guys that I've, you know, you've been with me through this journey of YouTube or whatever. But yeah, this is probably going to conclude it. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know. Give me feedback of how it felt or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So yeah, you'll see some of my shots of, these, of this camera, the Olympus OMG, right now. <music>